Hello and welcome to this fourth video in the Online Marketing Starter Kit series brought to you by the Kagura Community Network, the network of over 20,000 local and special interest communities around the world. Okay, what we're going to be going through in this video is to how to set up your Facebook personal listing. In the last video we had a look at some of the benefits and we saw the large numbers of people that are involved with Facebook. Uh, what we're going to do now is, is to show you from a marketing standpoint how you should go about setting up your personal listing and then in the next videos we'll go through the process of setting up your business listing. So let's go across to uh, Facebook and log in again and have a look at how this works. And what we'll be doing is not only exploring what the profiles have got to offer a little bit further, but importantly the process of actually uh, setting things up and some of the things to watch from a privacy standpoint because um, you really do need to be a bit careful as to how you use Facebook um, to protect your personal information. So if we go through here and click on profile um, as we had in the last video I'll just go into a little bit more detail as to what is actually on the profile page and the site's just being a little bit slow at the um, at the moment. Generally the speed on Facebook is, um, is pretty good uh, so you will have a good experience they just seem to be a little bit slow right at the moment. Okay, there we go. Now, um, what I wanted to draw your attention to um, here is you get this sort of fairly basic information. I talked in the last video about the power of the feeds, and this is where as um, things are taking place amongst your friends, the people that you've got added to your uh, added to your site, that you'll find out what they have been um, been up to. The other thing is that there are some standard applications that come with it, including a marketplace and, um, and importantly, the groups. But you can add other um, different applications to it. And for instance, I added one here that, um, that has details of cities that I've been to. And I put that in because I thought it would be a good way of uh, you know, connecting with other people that have been to, to those places and perhaps even people that live in those, uh, those different areas that might be interested in doing business with us at Kagura because, um, because we have that sort of common, um, common interest. If we come down to the, um, to the section where, like we did in the last video, you'll see these keywords where people will be able to find you and you'll be able to find other people that um, share your interest in, in books and movies and interests. So let's go through and see how you actually go about editing your profile and putting some of these things in. So they have a number of uh, tabs and what's important as you work your way through these is that you're conscious of the privacy settings. Uh, this isn't my actual birth date. You should not ever put your birth day on the web. Um, this is how people steal your identity and get credit cards and um, unfortunately Facebook is still not defaulting to, to this so please change your show my full birthday in my profile to don't show my birthday in, um, in my profile. Um, it, at Kagura we default it that way so that, um, so that we are looking after people's, um, people's privacy. You can go through and put your contact information, details of uh, relationships. The um, important thing is setting up your personal information. So all of that info that we saw there is really quite simple to put in. What you do want to do is put commas between phrases that you think people might want to click on to search. And um, I don't obviously spend a lot of time in front of TV or at the movies, but um, these are very popular areas a lot of people do fill out. Uh, you should put the details of, uh, of where you went to school at or if you went to college and university also put that in because this is a terrific way of meeting with up with uh, with other people and you'll see down here that um, you know I can click and find other people in my era that went to these um, schools or in fact in younger eras and what's interesting is that I am the only person that left in 1981 where there are lots and lots of them um, you know of the uh, of people a bit younger than, than me that are taking advantage of Facebook. <coughs> Importantly those demographics are changing and more and more older people are starting to uh, to come onto Facebook. 
Similarly, you can put in the details of your current business as well as, um, as work history. Again, building reputation so that um, people want to do business with you. Alright, the networking side of things, the, the regional networks we put in, you can also join networks of uh, former employers and, um, and, and the high schools and, and colleges that you went to. And um, the other thing that we strongly recommend is that you browse the groups and go and find different groups of, um, of people. You, there's a search feature up here and a browse feature and there are just lots of interesting things that are out there and lots of interesting people so go out and explore and importantly there are lots of other people that are doing exactly this that are uh, a part of different um, different groups so so go and find ones that are relevant for you and again just be aware that you might encounter some uh, some communities that perhaps aren't quite as family friendly as you'd like but for instance here there are over 300 and sorry over 3600 people that are friends of the RSPCA the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty for Animals so if that's one of your passions go and join the community and get your name out there and also at the same time get your business out there so thanks very much, Help, hope that was uh, helpful and please join us for the next video where we'll go through setting up your business listing. Bye for now.